Of three programmes in which we showcase some of these films, the emphasis remains on drama, and in particular the fondness many writers and directors still have for the supernatural. Robert Louis Stevenson wrote The Bottle Imp, and the theme is a classic one. Possession of a mysterious bottle ensures earthly riches, but in the afterlife, eternal damnation. But just in case you need a little help with the plot, there's always an expert on hand. I see Can't hide from me. Bottle in Spiritus Familiaris. I shall have to consult. Bodenum Boden Bogeyman. Bottle Imp. See demons. Hm. What? Ah, yes. Fashion from a mandrake root grown at the foot of a gallows tree, blah. Generally utilized by naughty people hoping to appease their lord Satan by ensnaring innocent souls. Sorry. Anyway, glad to see you came to me right away. Well, not exactly right away. What do you mean? How long have you had it? Two weeks. Two weeks? What have you been doing all this bloody time? Shopping. Oh. Well, what should we do? You say it grants wishes. Yeah. yeah. Well, don't get greedy. Get from it what you need as quick as you can and fob it off on somebody else. You wouldn't be interested as a collector. Get naughty. I wouldn't touch it with a ten-foot wand. The, the special effects were uh, one area where people would read the script and then say, how are, you, how are you possibly going to do that for three and a half thousand pounds, which is what the film eventually cost. Um, and I never really, it never really occurred to me that the special effects would be in any way a problem. That they're not uh, the whole point of the story. Um, the idea, I think, was to just get the special effects over with as quickly as possible. Um, so most of them are done in a now you see it, now you don't way, stopping the camera, moving something and starting it again, so the bottle can move from one person's possession to another as if by magic, or the imp can, can come out of the bottle without you actually seeing it. Just it's, suddenly it's there, which is more surprising to me. Um, I felt it would be a, a big waste of money and also a waste of time really to linger over uh, attractive special effects shots which you can see much better uh, in any Hollywood movie anyway. with some funny moments. And The Bottle Imp isn't the only film in this programme that has a...